Okay, you ready to begin? Hopefully you've listened to the premeditation talk before this. If not, please go back and listen to that. If you have, here we go. Sit in a chair. Now get a chair that's not too comfortable. The chair that I use has cushions. The backrest is not solid wood, it's cushioned, but it's not too comfortable. I don't want you to be uncomfortable, but I don't want you to be too comfortable so that you'll be tempted to fall asleep. That would be detrimental to what we're going to experience. An armless chair, if possible. The side or corner edge of a bed really works well. No arms, if possible. It's not imperative. There are no rigid rules here. If there are arms, that's fine, too. As long as you can allow your right arm and hand to just hang by your side, because that's what I'm going to ask you to do now. I want you to place your left hand in your lap and dangle your right arm and hand toward the floor, just by your side. Okay, ready? Ready to really let go? Your life is about to change in ways you cannot imagine. I just want you to close your eyes and be aware of the inside of your eyelids. Just notice the inside of your eyelids. And when you notice the inside of your eyelids, you'll notice something else too. You'll notice little sparkles of light. You see them? It's like little speckles, little pinpoints of light swirling around. Now just notice them. Don't focus on them. Don't try to make them happen. Just see that they're there. Just see little sparkles of light in the darkness. I know it sounds a little strange, but it's just a little gimmick to help jumpstart what I'm trying to get you to experience here. So just notice your eyelids, and when you do, you'll also notice that there's some light inside of you. You'll see little pinpoints of light, little sparkles, little stars, maybe little patterns, maybe colors, maybe white, but they're there. Just notice it. Don't focus on them. Just be aware that they're there. Don't try to generate them. Just simply notice the inside of your eyelids, and when you do that, you will see there are little sparkles, little galaxies, like a little a veil of light between you and the darkness. I just keep doing that while I'm talking to you. And when you do that, it won't be long before a thought comes along and takes your attention away from noticing the sparkling inside of your head. And when that happens, just notice that it has. Just noticing is enough to bring your attention back to noticing the sparkling inside of your head, inside of your eyelids. Now, in order to keep you in this state of consciousness, we're going to add something else. We're going to add a little mental anchor, so to speak. As you are noticing the little lights twinkling in your head, the little lights inside of your skull, I want you to bring your attention to your right thumb hanging by your side. Just be aware of your thumb. Just notice it. And if you're aware of your thumb, you'll notice that it begins to energize slightly. It's as if your attention makes it tingle. You'll notice a very slight sensation, as if your noticing is landing upon the thumb and making it tingle very slightly. Can you feel that? And once your thumb tingles, I want you then to move your attention to your next finger, to your index finger, your pointer finger, until that finger starts to tingle. And then when that tingles, then move your awareness over to your next finger. And just keep doing that with each finger in turn, making each one tingle, noticing it, and then shifting your attention to the next finger until the next finger tingles. Just keep doing that while I'm speaking to you. Keep being aware of the lights inside of your head. Keep being aware of the little blotches of lightness, little patterns, twinkles, or pixels is a good word, light particles, it's like a little galaxy of lights. They could be swirling about. They could appear as a mist. But they're there. There's something between you and darkness. And that is light. That's inner light. Just keep noticing each finger. Notice each one and feel it tingle just a tiny bit. As if your awareness has a little charge to it. Just keep doing that. Keep rotating from one finger to the next. It won't be long before a thought comes along and tries to take your attention away from this. When that happens, just be aware that it has. Just notice it. Don't fight it. There's no struggle. There's no effort. And when a thought comes along and brings your attention away from noticing the lights inside of your head and from noticing your fingers, just notice that it has. And that noticing is enough to bring your attention back to the lights inside of your head again. 
back to the little twinkles of light, and then moving your attention from one finger to the next. Be aware of the thoughts. Don't try to blank out your mind. Trying to make your mind blank is suppression. We don't want to do that. That's very dangerous. Just notice the thoughts. Be aware of the thoughts. We want the thoughts to be on the open where they can be seen in the light, in the sunlight, in the sunlight of the spirit, so to speak. Keep noticing the lights inside of your eyelids. Notice the middle of your forehead where it seems like these lights are. The inside of your skull. It's like being aware of the inside of your head. Just lightly notice each finger. Just pay attention to it until the attention seems to be very gently stimulating, like a tingle on one finger. And then stimulate the next and then move your attention to the next one. Just keep doing that. When you do this, you're practicing consciousness. You're being conscious. It means you're not being subject to forces that would crop up inside of your psyche had you been unconscious. Thoughts to come and control you, make you react to them. Just notice the inside of your eyelids. And when you do, you notice the little lights. It seems as though your entire head is also behind your eyelids. In fact, you cannot really distinguish the inside of your head from your eyelids. Be aware of the darkness on the other side of the light. Can you see that? The light separates you from it. When you are lost in your thoughts, you have entered darkness. See now the light that separates you from the dark. You're safe here. Awareness is a barrier against harms from beyond. You're safe from your thoughts, thoughts that emanate out of the darkness. They will try. Just notice them. You'll be safe if you notice them. The sparkles that you see, the little blotches of lightness, the little luminous points of light, they form a protection. It's like a veil or a curtain, a curtain of light between you, the real spiritual person, the observer, and the world where the not you lives. Awareness is your shield. Bring your attention to your hand. Feel each finger in turn. Feel it tingle. Feel it energize. When you notice it, then move your attention to the next finger. And then the next. And then the next. And just keep doing that. See that your mind inside of your head is like a screen with speckles of light moving around. Don't try to make them appear. They'll just appear. Little sparkles. This is real light you're seeing. And there are no thoughts there. And your thoughts seem to have just fallen away someplace. They exist somewhere, but you're not attached to them. And when you get attached to a thought, just simply notice that you're attached to a thought, and then just gently pull away. You're coming out of a dream state. Just see thoughts as they arise. There's no need to quash them. Don't try to replace one thought with another. Just see each one. Just see each stream of thought, each idea, as it comes and tries to grab your awareness tries to steal their awareness away from you, make you unconscious, and pull you into their dream world. Just see them. Be aware of them. Even if these thoughts seem objectionable or unspiritual, whatever they are, even if they're vile, even if they're beautiful, just simply see that they are there, that they rise. Make no judgment about them. Just notice them. Don't decide that you want them or don't want them. There's no need to force new thoughts to replace old ones. Whoever can replace your old thoughts for new ones has the power to control you. Keep noticing your eyelids. It's like you're looking into the inside of a cavern, and in the distance there's darkness, and separating you from the darkness there are little patterns of light, little protective swirls, the galaxies of stars. Keep shifting attention from one finger to the next finger. Don't stop doing that. Once each finger tingles, move on to the next one until you feel your attention energize it very slightly, then move on to the next one after that. At the same time, be aware of the sparkling inside of your head. There is no need to fear thoughts, not even negative ones. That would be resentment levied toward them. It would be a judgment. It would be playing God. Just observe them. Be objective. See the thoughts. See each new wave of resentment present itself. Just see it. Seeing is all that's necessary for it to lose its power over you. There's nothing to fear or to resent for seeing them. If anything, the negativity ought to fear you, because now you are aware of its existence. There is something inside you that does not like that. Too bad for it. Just notice the lights inside of your head. Notice the little swirls, the little stars. 
twinkles, the little speckles, little pixels, little light particles swirling about like a galaxy of stars, a light show. This is your protection. This is your state of awareness, the meditative state. There's nothing more to it than this. Just notice those little lights, and when you're noticing those little lights, you're free from thoughts. Your thoughts have lost their grip on you. This is an exercise. It's in preparation for the rest of your day. If you cannot lift a heavy household item and it confounds you, you have to go to the gym, right? An exercise against small weights in repetitious fashion. And that way you are strong and prepared for lifting heavy items later. Otherwise you'll be weak, always looking for people to help you or else running away from daily life. Well, that's what we're doing. We're exercising our awareness. Just see thoughts. Seeing thoughts and not being moved, not being motivated by them, means that they have no power. That's what emotion means. It means something moves you to act. Motion. Something that may be an influence that may not have your best interests at heart. Now you are being given to see them before they can rise over you and envelop you in their negative energy. You see them and can remain free of them just by being objective to them. Can you see that you are not the originator of thoughts? That something is trying to influence your thinking? Anything that can get a rise out of you, upset you with anger or upset you with love, false love, something that causes an emotion, controls you. That's how people control you. There's something in people, something in situations, a force that does not have your best interests in mind. Can you see how your awareness has atrophied in the past? How you have been caught up in your own self-will and has controlled you? Then the wills of others, who are similarly controlled, have access to you. No more. You are exercising your God-given vision. It is lighted by the light of truth, his truth, not yours. Keep noticing the little twinkling lights in your head. It's as if the inside of your head is a room or cavern. It's difficult to distinguish your eyelids from the inside of your head. They all look the same when your eyes are closed. But those little lights continue to swirl around. Just be aware of them. And be aware of thoughts that try to take you away from noticing them. Now, if you want to, you can bring your hands together, both hands, the one in your lap and your right hand together. You can bring them up in front of you, lightly touching each finger together. And move your attention from one finger to the next, beginning with your thumb, just as you had when the hand was down. Almost as if you're praying, your fingers touching lightly. And then move your attention across your hands using each finger, each set of fingers until each set tingles and then bring it to the next one. So begin with your thumbs first. Be aware of your thumbs together until they tingle, until you feel the awareness on them, until you notice the energy. And just when you're aware of it and you notice that little tingling, then move it down across over to your pointer finger. Pointer fingers. When they begin to tingle, move it to the next finger. Keep shifting from one set of fingers to the other across the entire span of your hands until you get to your pinky finger and then start back at your thumb again. Notice your two fingers lightly touching and then bring that awareness of them, that noticing, to the next set of fingers and allow them to tingle very slightly. Then move across to the next set of fingers. Just notice them. There's no need to force anything. Just allow your attention to happen and it will happen. Just keep doing it. Just keep moving it across the entire set of fingers across your hands. You may feel a little warmth in your hands. Just bring your attention to the middle of your forehead. Notice the inside of your eyelids. Notice the sparkling of lights in there. Notice the center of your forehead might also feel warm. This is normal. Don't try to make it happen. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. It will happen. Just bring your attention from your head to your fingers. It isn't the seeing of the pixels of light that is as important 
is that you are able to, which means that you are a spirit. Now while you are noticing the little galaxy of lights, the speckles of points of brightness inside of your head, be aware of something else now. And I bring your attention to it by asking you a simple question. I ask you this. Who is it that is noticing these lights? It's you. You are noticing the lights inside of your head right now. You are a conscious being who is doing the noticing. You must be a spirit then, right? That is correct. This is the meditative state. You're there right now. And you can take this meditative state, this state of consciousness, and move it into your day. You can see resentments arise during the day. Practicing being aware in this manner allows you to do that. You can see each time that you resent, get irritated, annoyed, that you are playing God. That you're judging others by contaminating your clear vision with hate and judgment. Playing God has put you at odds with him. It's made you feel guilty. You've needed to drink in order to override the pain. You've needed to judge to override the pain. Playing God, judgment, is pain producing. You didn't think so. But your behaviors and your drinking and your judging is the proof. Now going forward into your day, you'll begin to have the option to be aware. Just like you exercise that option right now in these private moments, you'll be able to do it later, as your day goes on. While doing this exercise, you will see that being awake and aware is something you can do anytime you want. This state is within you. It's available anytime. It's here. It's right now. And it's available. Now each time you notice yourself in a mesmerized state, in the unconscious state where you used to live much of the time, maybe even all of the time, in that moment, you're free. You're removed from it. You're saved from your own thoughts. Do you see what saved means now? Do you see what you're being saved from? Keep shifting attention from one set of fingers to the next. Don't stop. Once each finger tingles, move on to the next finger until you feel your attention energizing, noticing very slightly, and then just move that energy onto the next finger. And at the same time, beware of the little blotches of light moving around inside of your head. Notice your eyelids and see those little lights. Notice the inside of your head. It's like you're looking inside of your skull. And you can just see patterns of light moving around. You have a new state of awareness. It is a psychic place where you can see where others are not so awake and not so aware. You'll intuitively begin to sense ahead of time. What is to happen? And that intuition is a psychic preparedness. It means you can forgive for real. So when others are cruel, or when they make mistakes, or when they err, as bitterness arises, you can see it. It's a trick. It's a trap. These are tests. They are meant to tempt you into savoring negative emotions. New awareness allows you to see the truth of this, and seeing the truth of it, weakens these forces. It weakens forces that operate through emotions. You can see how others are caught up in their own world of emotional entanglement and how their own self-absorbed existence has them also imprisoned, as you have been. They don't know it, just like you haven't known it when it's been you. Forgive them. Don't hate them. Wouldn't you want them to make the same allowance for your past self-centeredness? Then extend it to them. That is what true forgiveness is. It's not being angry. They don't know. Love them by not hating them. Even the things that people have done in the past, or what you may have imagined that they might do in the future, these are just ideas that come from your thoughts. They're not reality. As you go out into each day, you can see how thoughts, good ones, bad ones, it doesn't matter. They all come out of the stream of thought that you will be able to see before they grab onto you and before they take you for a ride. You can be objective like this throughout the day. Anytime you think of it, just be aware of those thoughts. And for now, just be aware of the blotches of light inside of your head. Notice the inside of your eyelids. 
Notice the little galaxy of lights, the little speckles, the little bright points of light inside of your head. Move your attention from one finger to the next. Just keep doing that. Every time you can be aware of your imagination, it will be a good thing. Don't resent seeing how lost you can get during the day. It could happen a thousand times. It could happen a hundred thousand times. It could be a million times. It doesn't matter how often it happens. Just be aware of it. You are being shown. Be grateful. It will become less and less as time goes on. Don't struggle. Don't be tempted to react. And your new awareness makes that possible. If memories come up from the past, you'll be able to meet them now from a new perspective, from an objective, awake and aware position that doesn't hate and doesn't judge. And you can see how you have been the judge in the past. You have played God and you can feel sorry. You can feel real, true sorrow where well, you knew not what you were doing. Watch for anger. Watch for annoyance. Watch for restlessness. Bitterness. Watch for ill will. Watch for irritation. Even frustration. Just see fear for what it is. There's no need to resent anything now, and there's no need to resent anything from the past, let alone things that haven't happened yet, scenarios that are written for you and that come up out of your imagination. So when you feel resentment coming up, just watch it. It may come back and try you again. Just watch. It'll be weaker and weaker each time. You're developing immunity to these forces. You're developing resilience to anger. And you are doing it by starving your lower self that feeds on it. It may shake in fear. It may tremble. Just watch it. It has good cause to tremble. Its days are numbered. It knows it. Let it writhe in pain. The pain is not yours. You are becoming free from it. If there is ever true danger, you will react with courage. Without using emotion to unrealistically give a false sense of courage. That's cockiness. You can make clear-headed decisions that are free from emotional entanglement. That is real courage. That is God dependency. It replaces self-dependency. Just keep noticing the little lights inside of your head. Keep doing that. Keep moving your attention from one finger to the next. Keep your awareness. Keep noticing. Just keep noticing. Keep your awareness. Keep noticing the inside of your head. Look at the inside of your eyelids. See the little sparkles of light. Simultaneously notice your fingers one at a time until each one tingles slightly, very, very slightly. And when any thought comes, just be aware of it. Notice the thought. You are not the thought, and the thought is not you. Your awareness has placed some distance between you and that thought. Once you are noticing the thought, you're you are no longer inside the thought and no longer attached to the thought. That thought can just leave, passing you, unaffected, unharmed. And each time you disengage from them, you are becoming more reliant upon your creator. You can go forward now being outspoken with courage, and you can have conviction, you can have confidence. A little by slowly, you'll be able to do this without this recording. It may take a little while. But not too long. Watching your thoughts, watching your reactions, that is sufficient. That is all you need. Awareness. That is living by faith. Remember, forgiveness is not some spell or words that you speak to another person. It is what you are when you simply don't hate. When you develop resilience to anger, as you are now doing each time you become aware each time you become awake through this exercise, and during the day also. No one needs your blessing. They just need your love. And that means not hating them. And that means real forgiveness. You have known for a long time that you must forgive. Now you are seeing something, maybe for the very first time, you are seeing how to forgive. That has been missing. No more. Watch for selfishness. Watch for dishonesty. Bitterness, anger, and resentment, and fear, these are all emotions meant to move you. Just see them as they arise. Just watch them and be aware of them. Stresses, all expressed for us 
with emotional feelings of hostility, bitterness, frustration. All of these are just flavors of the same things. And we call them resentments. But there's anger, there's rage. It's all the same thing. Envy, jealousy. There is no emotionally charged description that can evade the single umbrella of resentments, the negative electrical charge that you can feel. But now, you're aware of it. You can observe it right in front of you when it arises. No longer does your ego have it to feed on, to engorge itself. And all I'm asking you to do is to notice the inside of your head and to bring your attention from one finger to the next. And be aware of the lights inside of your head so that you can discover and actually separate consciousness from that false self. You are learning to observe your thoughts so that when you observe your thoughts, you can also notice that you are not your thoughts. That they are a separate thing which do not originate from within you. I hope you find great benefit from this exercise. Please feel free to use it and to distribute it. This exercise will always be available. It will always be free. If you have questions, you can find me. You can Google me. Now listen, something has happened to you in the last half hour. You have been separated from your thoughts. That means your lower self has lost its grip on you. You have been freed from the bondage of self for these few moments. Perhaps for the first time in a very long time. Perhaps since the last time you did this exercise. Perhaps for the first time in your life. Just remember to do this consistently. Be steadfast. Don't do this to solve any specific problems or with expectations of an effect. And each time you do it, do it exactly as if you have never done it before, as if this is the very first time. And if you have an experience of some kind, don't try to replicate it. Some of you are going to have some very drastic experiences in this meditation. Some of you are going to be a little bit more gradual. I know that you have issues. I know that you have depressions, some of you anxieties and conditions that are causing you a lot of pain, a lot of trouble in your life, just set those aside and practice this meditation without trying to will those problems away. Don't add anything to this. That would spoil it. If you're ever tempted to add anything to it, like methods that you may have tried in the past, just notice those too and let them pass. They will. Don't try to incorporate philosophies or practices into it. Okay, now open your eyes. Now remember to do this exercise before bed. Do it in the morning and anytime you can during the day. If you do, you'll be very glad that you did.